Hi, I'm Roman and this is Massive Voodoo TV. In this video you will learn how to rescale your Granite Terminators up to bigger Terminators from the Leviathan box. Alright, first it's important to let you know where this all started. I keep this short promise. The last time I played Warhammer 40k was in the 5th edition. Now we have the 10th edition. In the past I tried to play some board games once in a while but always failed. This time is different. Motivated with some friends, one friend especially from the Massive Voodoo team Johannes, I'm about to build a really crazy gaming table. Believe me, there will be a video series about the creation of this epic gaming table. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see when the videos about the gaming table will be there for you. For me it was really hard to pick an army. I love the lore of Warhammer 40k and also 30k and everything, reading Horus Heresy at the moment. I really enjoy all these armies, these different factions, the background stories, the character models, the, the look of the different um, units and, and armies. I always was and will be a Space Marine fan, so I was pretty close in deciding for Space Marines. I was thinking about Imperial Fists or Raven Guard or Ultramarines even. Yeah, White Scars came up in the list too and I really was like really a little bit um, juggling with White Scars. But then I decided I need less miniatures. Looking back in the past, while I always failed with creating armies or warbands or everything, was just like the number of models. So I decided to go with something very elite. Um, I don't like the look of the Custodes. For me, they look like, I don't know, like, I don't get the concept, but that's a personal taste. I'm really fascinated by the background of the Inquisition and also of, a, of the Secret Order, the Grey Knights. I did play a computer game with Grey Knights um, the last year and I really enjoyed that, really got inspired from the looks. Also read a really good book. Reading about 100 Grey Knights that slayed Angron, the Demon Prince, um, with only 13 survivors was truly epic. So really enjoyed it and got really inspired to start creating my Grey Knight army. While I was browsing through the new rulebook and the old codex, um, I also got myself the data, car data cards. I came up to the conclusion that I don't like the look of the models nowadays. They look like, hmm, I don't like the look of the actual Grey Knights. In times of Primaris, Leviathan, Terminators, I don't like the look. The artworks seem so far away from the miniatures. I decided for some simple conversions with heavy impact. My plan was also to paint them very grimdark, but that's something for later on video. Let's check back with the material that you need for these conversions. Of course, you need a box of Games Workshop's Grey Knight Terminators and a set of five Leviathan Terminators. Plastic-wise, that's all you need. Of course, you can use your bits box for conversions of heads or different um, details. That's what I did with my bits box. Tool-wise, this is what I used. A clipper, some different kind of blades that I will explain to you very soon. I needed some green stuff, toothpick, tweezers, super glue. And if you want to drill your gun barrels, I recommend also a hand drill to you. Now, I will explain the different blades I use. I use this tip of the hobby blade mainly for removing mold lines. I use this tip if I have to use a lot of force and push downwards. If I would do this with the other tip, then there might be the danger of breaking the blade. This is a mixture of both. With this one, I can pressure forward without breaking the blade easily. That's actually the one I use most of the time. I also have a super tiny hand hobby saw that allows me to do precise cuts on plastic I don't need it very often and I have one that is for rougher detail work you can say but it's almost damaged to death already. To be fair I don't think you need all of these I just wanted to show them to you. You can get a great variation of these if you look around the corner into scale modeling. All right I will now take you through the conversion and kit brush work I've done step by step rather quickly. Have a good look I will mark out the very important cuts that you have to do. Take one body from a Leviathan Terminator. Body means the back, 
the legs, the main body, and also the armor plates you need for the legs. Don't use any arms, heads or something, you don't need that. From your Grey Knight Terminator box, you just use the chest plate and the Aegeus aura, which is their back. These are basically the main things you need for your conversion. Right now you don't need more, focus on this. I recommend do one Terminator first and then you can build this up and do several in a row. You can take the Grey Knight bits and put them to the side. Right now you just need the body of the Terminator. Um, build it. I use super glue here. I personally don't like plastic glue because um, plastic glue melts my plastic and I want to maybe change something even if it's glued. So I'm really a big fan of super glue. While I'm doing this, I also remove mold lines by carefully scratching my hobby blade over the mold line to remove it. Build the body of the Terminator, but don't glue the back yet. Terminator. It's really hard to say Terminator all the time without sounding like Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Terminator. 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 Build the body of the Terminator. Then prepare the back, remove all that fiddly stuff and also check for mold lines. Check for mold lines on the granite parts too. Now you're all set. I have to tell you, the first cut is the deepest. It hurts, destroying something, but believe me, it's well worth it. Take your hobby blade that you can use with force and remove the upper body part of the Terminator. Try to make the cut as clean as possible to the belt. It can be rough, you will see we will hide this later on. Then glue the back. Now to the complicated cuts. We want to get the Grey Knight's chest into the back of the Terminator. Therefore, we have to make specific cuts if you lay down the back of the Grey Knight chest and cut this as close to the main body as you can, cut away the shoulders. The next cut is important too. Try to take care not to damage too much. Um, you can also use your clippers here. Remove these parts. It can be very rough because it will be hidden later on. Then remove the lower part of the chest piece so that just the Aegis will be left over. Now take the Aegis and try to put it into the back. You might have to cut here and there. Then you can glue the front chest part of the granite to the Aegis and glue both into the body. To a point, this looks really cool, but also very rough right now. If these would be display pieces, I would take much more care in cleaning this up. For my gaming models, I just used some green stuff here and there to fill up gaps. And a lot of stuff was hidden behind additional detail that are now glued to each of the Terminators. The next parts were easy. I was just using the arms and everything else from the Grey Knight Terminators and really enjoyed creating these characters. The basing aspect was really done quickly. I used super glue, then some rubble I got left over from building the gaming table and then some regular dried soil. Have a look. I really um, enjoyed creating two full squads of Grey Knight Terminators.
I got some tips for you. Allow yourself to destroy things, to create new things, and allow yourself to hide things if it's not meant for display or competition painting, just for gaming, you can hide things behind green stuff work or some bags and stuff. Don't over complicate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to press a thumbs up. You will help this channel to grow. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There will be more content like this. There will be a quick video about the regular Grey Knight guys, also a quick video about the conversions on the Inquisitor and his gang, and also something about the Epic Gaming Table in the future, and much more to come for you. Stay tuned, um, Roman out, keep on happy painting. Bye bye. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up Stop demon Do not go any further I'm a Grey Knight Terminator I stop you now Get to the Thunderhawk It's the only way out Nah, use the teleporter. Was truly epic. So really enjoyed it and got really inspired to take Mac. To make Mac. To make Mac. To start creating my Grey Knight army.